Hello, my friends. This is Eric Parker with One Number, Tableau Experts. And in this week's video, I want to cover how do you only label the first and last points in a graph in Tableau? Um, so you might be hearing this and thinking, you knucklehead, there's an option in the labels to do that. I know, I know. We'll look at that, uh, but it's not always available. And so that's the big part about what we're going to cover today. Let's dive into it. All right. If we already have a something like a line graph and we just want to label, hey, just label the value for the first and the last points in this data set, that's actually pretty easy. Uh, what we will do here is I'm going to grab, I think this is sales. Yeah, so let's put a copy of sales on label. It tries to label every point. That gets a little crazy. Um, so what you can do with a line graph is you click on label in the marks card and then you have an option to label your line ends. Okay. So that's kind of nice because now, you know, hey, I'm just seeing where did we start? Where did we end, right? And that's true if you have three lines or if you have one line, like Tableau is smart enough to sort of adjust to whatever it is that you're creating. So where we run into a bit of a challenge with this is when you're not using a line graph. So for instance, if you had something like a bar chart, okay? So let's say I just want to label the first and last bars in each series uh, in this bar chart. Now, unfortunately, that option for only showing the first and last, that's not really an option. Um, you can see I can do like most recent, so I can essentially get the last value. In this case, it's just coincidental. Min and max would typically, oh, actually min and max are only doing the overall min and max. You can set it to be pain. So min and max would coincidentally do the first and the last here, but that's only because the first and the last happen to be the largest values and smallest values, uh, but that's not always gonna work out for us. So how do we make sure we kind of have control over this and we're only labeling the first and the last points, okay? Um, that is where a calculation is gonna help us. So we're gonna use a table calculation so Tableau can find the first and the last data point and then only return to us the sum of sales for those, all right? So we'll hit our drop down. we'll create a calculated field. I'll call this sum of sales uh, first, last only. All right. So here's what I will do. Uh, well, let me explain something really quickly here. So we're going to utilize some table calculation functions. Let me pop our little window open here. So we're going to use these table calculation functions first and last. Okay. So you can see the, the Tableau talks about first here and it says, um, you know, if, if you want to talk about first, that could mean like, you know, how should I say this? Like the first going left to right or top to bottom, it's a table calculation, so you get to define it, right? So what I will do is I will say, if first equals zero, then sum of sales, okay? Else null. I guess I don't have to put else null, that's implied. I'll just skip it, say end. We haven't done last yet, but let's just check to make sure first is working first. Okay, so let's throw this on label instead. Let's get rid of the original sum of sales and we'll just say show all labels, right? So notice it's only showing that one label just for the first bar. So you might be thinking, what the heck? What is first zero? Like, what does that mean? So I'm just telling Tableau reference only the first point. Uh, you can change the offset. So if I said first, uh, it's a little confusing. If I said first minus one, that's actually the way you reference the second data point. I, that always kind of throws me for a loop, like the minus, subtract, whatever but you can see how I can kind of get this to move along the line graph or the bar charts rather uh, based on what I reference here, okay? So what I'll say is if first equals zero the sum of sales or what if I do this? What if I say or last equals zero then sum of sales, okay? Basically the same thing, but now using the last function, okay? So now if I hit okay, now check that out. Now I've got the first and the last values only, okay, uh, showing. So let me do a quick little number format here. We'll do our default properties, do our number format, get some currency going there, right? Now we have total control. We've got just our first and last data points showing, which is sweet. Um, so if you're ever running into issues with this, you know, depending on, depending on how you visualize this, like I'm trying to think about how to say this, um, like let's say we did a stacked bar instead of uh, the regular bar chart, I guess that works too. Just know that this is a table calculation function. So there might be a scenario where you need to change like the scope or direction, depending on how complicated your chart is. But hopefully Tableau is pretty intelligent and can pick up what you're saying when you talk about first and last.
Okay. Uh, we'll also link to a video down below about table calculations in a lot more detail. If you're like, whoa, what is all this? What are we talking about here? I never knew about these. I don't know how they work. Uh, we got a video which will cover all those types of topics. So um, thank you for being here. If you check out this info button up in the top corner, uh, Ollie and I run Tableau classes every month. We teach Tableau prep, Tableau desktop, dashboarding, design, calculations, you name it. Um, we'd love meeting new people. We would love to have you there. It's a great way to dive deeper. We get to touch on little topics, you know, in these five to 10 minute videos, but uh, we get to go into a lot more detail in our eight to 16 hour classes. So um, feel free to keep following along here though. We do drop new free content every single week and we look forward to uh, catching you again soon. Thanks.